Hello, and welcome to Diamond Shine with Shanta. Today, I would like to do a kit up and chat. We're going to be kitting up um, Dear Fluffy Cupcake Bestie. Um, this is an image of the um, painting. I'm going to be kitting her up today and chatting. So it is Saturday. Um, I just um, purchased Gladys from um, Diamond Art Club. I was so excited to get her. I got her in squares. Um, I could not let um, a Richard Lorenz bird um, slip by me. I really love Richard Lorenz and his birds. So that was like a, a must to get that. I have been doing better on my purchasing. I really have. Um, I did get House on the Cliff, but that was one of my must buys. So I couldn't pass that one up. But other than that, I haven't purchased um, anything um, so in a minute. So I've been doing really, really good. I'm trying to check and make sure I had the name right. For Gladys, I think I did, but I just want to double check. Because now it should be the new arrivals. Yep, Gladys. My kind of crazy. So I purchased her today in squares. And so far, um, it's 1139 and she is still um, up for sale. If someone get the hope everyone who wants her gets to um, get her today. So I'm going to be kitting up in um, these square containers. Um, it's funny, I purchased this on AliExpress. I purchased just the, the boxes, but I thought they came with the container, but they didn't. So I purchased 120 of these containers, but it was no um, enclosed um Container, so they had to go back to Ali. They had to go back to AliExpress and then purchase um, a case to put it in. And then the case came, and it it had the it had spaces for these kind of boxes and those Tic Tac boxes. So I had to take the phone that this came in and shove it in here, so it was really tight. But it works. So. Here for my trash. So this week was um, Avery's first week back in school, so that was really fun. Um, she's still at the age where she is excited to go back to school. And I know one day she's going to lose the excitement. <laughs> but it's fun to see her so excited um, right now to go back to school. I cut all these apart. These drills are so pretty. Like, I started diamond painting in um, February of 2021. And back when I started diamond painting, this painting was on the website, but it was sold out. So it was a painting that I wanted from the time I very first started diamond painting, but it was sold out. Come to find out, I didn't, um, you know, I was just starting out in the community, so I didn't really understand. Um, right at that time, Sherry Body had um, decided to open up her own business and Diamond Art Club um, was discontinuing all of her canvases. So this canvas, it never came back in stock. And from that point on, I had always wanted because it's got a cupcake on it. I love food paintings. And then she's just so fluffy and cute. And so I do have um, two more of um, Sherry Baldy's um, fluffy besties um, that I bought from um, Diamond Art Dreams, her website. Um, I have one kitted up um, that I was going to try to work on either this year or, or next year, but this one is going to take precedence because I have, I really want to go ahead and work on this one soon. Now, soon for me could be um, 
for me soon could be the beginning next year, but I, I just want to work on it sooner rather than later. So it's only look like one bag that has two different, two of the same, no, three ten in this one. Okay. But let's get started. One is 1.8. That would be some kind of AB. Okay. I've never um, used these type of containers before, so this is my first time. I'm trying to see if I need a funnel, don't need a funnel, or kind of how it's going to work. I think I can do it without a funnel. So getting back to the first day of school. <clears throat> so we got the first day of school. Avery is in the fifth grade, so she's gone to this school for five years. Every year at the first, you know, first couple of days of school, it, the drop off and pick up is just outrageous. It's a ton of people, you know, half the people don't know where, you know, where to go, what to do, and it's just a disaster. So this year in in pick up at her school, I'm trying to describe this so that it makes sense. They divide the parking lot up into seven lanes. So you can, you drive up into seven lanes and you wait. And then they take one car from each lane every round to pick up, if that makes any sense. But for the seven lanes, the first two lanes can cover the entrance to the other five lanes. And so every year on the first day of school, the new parents, you know, they don't understand how it works. They cover up the entrance to the other seven lanes, so all the, so it could be more cars going in, but once they cover it up, you know, no no car can get in, and it's just a, it's a disaster. And I just feel like either the school should have somebody outside, you know, kind of um, directing people where to go or something because it's just bad. So I I literally I went to go pick up Avery. The line was. So long, it was blocked where you couldn't get to the other lanes. I just went back home. And I said, I'll just come back once it comes down. And I, that's exactly what I did. I went home, came back. When I came back, the, the lanes weren't blocked. I, you know, got in the lanes and went on by my business. Because it's, it, it makes no sense, you know, that you can't even get into the correct lanes because um, people don't understand. And I, I just think it's someone from the school would either be outside or maybe send home um, instructions on how it flows and you know what to do. It will help. But they did. And the same thing in the morning. The lines. Um, it's only one pickup line in the morning. It goes all the way around. So, so the Y opened up yesterday. Um, I mean, sorry, I opened up Thursday, not Friday. I opened up Thursday, so I took Avery, I dropped Avery off at the Y because I like why should I, you know, why sit in the line? I can just drop off at the Y. And as I'm leaving, it's this lady, and she's parked in the pickup line, not the drop off line. So I wrote my window down and I tried and I explained to her, and she was like, "Oh," she said, "Well, somebody told me that." They pick up and drop off the same way. I said, no, they don't. And I'm sorry, I don't know who told you that, but they told you wrong, you know, whatever. Who do it? And then, um, I need to move these around so that, because it's going to be two extra ones, two of the black and two of those green. So once I move these, it should be okay. Um, and I explained to her, you know, how the flow went. And so, the it was another car that was there in the correct flow, but they could, I mean, they didn't pull down when they were supposed to pull down further. And I told her, I said, really, if you want to, you can just go up in there and get behind this car because they, this car up here should pull down more, but they obviously don't know, don't understand. And that's what she did. So, she got on in the right line because the other person is supposed to pull down, but they didn't. So, it was like about five car lengths that should have been filled in that that person didn't understand they're supposed to pull down. I said the first couple of days of school till the flow is understood is just horrible. But I don't have to be in it anymore because Avery um, 
is doing the she's doing um the YMCA now is open like the first couple days of school the Y is not open um whoops so I can't use the Y that's why I always take this week for vacation because I can't drop her off the first day at the Y so I have to be out of work because I can't um I can't um you know leave work early it doesn't work like that in my job so I take vacation I really enjoyed my vacation. I, I really didn't get as much diamond paint done as I thought I would. I guess one thing is because Adeline, it's one of the older kits. And just to be honest, the, the square drills are horrid. And it's just not enjoyable for me to work on. And I just, I haven't even finished up one complete row yet, which is not like me. Because I'm just, it's not enjoyable. It's hard smushing this stuff in here. Okay, there we go. We got it. Now, everything I shouldn't have to move, nothing else. Um, it hasn't been enjoyable to me. Um, it has a lot of the... has a lot of the um the older square drills so it has not been very enjoyable to me um because of that the uh, the drills are they have like a a film of plastic around them so it makes the squares not touch that just drives me crazy and then lots of times um Lots of times the tabby is it, it's just it's not enjoyable. So I had to stop working on ribbons um, from Treasure Studios Art because they had given me the wrong color, and that's from one of the, that's from their old supplier, and she was telling me that um, that it happened a couple times to people. So she sent me the right drills, but originally I was given um, these drills. But the color should have been this color. These are the, the correct color. And I was like, no, that's not going to work. Because that painting is predominantly pink with the bottom um, having like a blue sky. And it just, I was like, something's wrong with this. So I looked up 3727 um, online to see, um, you know, what the color was supposed to be. And that's how I, I found out that... Um, that they gave me the wrong color. So I just emailed Rachel Treasure. Um, she's very nice. I will say um, anytime I've ever had any kind of issues um, with Treasure Studios Art, I've emailed her. She emails you back pretty promptly. She's in a different time zone, but she, um, as soon as she sees the message, she emails you back. I've always appreciate that. Always kind, um, never making anything seem like it's my, you know, the customer's fault. Like, I've had this painting since um, probably maybe 2021. And, you know, she still, you know, replaced the drills for me. No questions asked. And I appreciate that kind of um, um, customer service in, in the business format. I just want to say that is a company that I, um, I know um, has very good customer service. Looking for 445, but I sure don't see it. It looks like it's a brown color. Is this it? No. This is it hidden. No. Hmm. Have I done it already and messed up? Uh oh. What have we done? I'm sorry y'all, I'm missing, I'm either missing a color or I can't find a color. It's probably I just can't find it. 
I like messed up and put the wrong cover on the wrong thing. No. Okay, let me take my time and look for it like seriously now. gonna keep on going and because I don't know if I have to I guess I'll just buy some 445 drills oh I just found Lord help me it's yellow this is another problem with these old um, drills the symbol color and the drills don't match and so I'm sitting here looking I guess I'm really wasn't even how looking at the yellows because I just knew the color wasn't yellow but the color is yellow so yeah that was bad <laughs> I don't know if that was so bad Um, so also um I had my my donut cameras that I had ordered from Pam. Um those drills were not good square drills, so I contacted her and she's sending me out another, a whole other canvas. The drills almost every single drill, and this was a square canvas, it had like this plastic around it where the drills wouldn't pick up straight on my multiplier so they wouldn't lay down straight because of the plastic kept hitting each other. So I emailed her and um, she's going to um, replace that for me because I was like, I was taking the drills, you know, whatever you want to do. Because I, I really like that canvas because it's so cute, but I could not work with those drills. And I'm not drill picky. As long as I have enough where I can, you know, work on the canvas, but you can't do it if every single one is, you know, kind of messed up. It doesn't work. Then I have a video I'm going to be made a while back. And I couldn't decide if I was going to release it or not. And then Miss Coffee did a video about the same painting. And mine is from a different angle because I, I know how to contact Sherry Baldy. Um, you just email, you can just call her. You can email her because I, I did try to email her so she could see the pictures. But you can call her and they answer. So I've never had a problem with the contact to her. But my problem was was that was the skin tone. Um, the kit is called um, Gumdrop Raindrop. Um, but my problem was the skin tone. Like in her face, they had color um, six six six. That's like the brightest red you can get in her face. So that was my issue um, with the canvas. And then I have two more canvases that I'm going to um, do a video on today. Because I had started and then I stopped because, again, I didn't care for the skin cone. But it's not as bad as raindrop gumdrop. I mean, gumdrop raindrop. But it, they use those reddish browns and not the, um, you know, the, the regular brown skin tone colors. So I'm going to um, unbox both of those. I'm going to do them in one video. And um, figure out, I'm, I'm going to try to change the skin tone colors because I don't like them. And I think um, I can pick some better colors to make them. The pictures, the images are beautiful, especially for the uh, the two I'm going to unbox. I think rain, a gumdrop raindrop could have benefited from being a little bit larger um, for some of the detail. But... Um, But the girls are up close portrait pictures and they look good. It's just the skin tone is, is kind of red. It's a more of a reddish brown than brown. So I'm going to show those and put all those videos up. Because I hadn't decided if I was going to put up the first video. I said probably, I even said maybe I'll work on um, having it completed first um, and make no changes. But I decided I'm just going to make the change because I know it's not going to look right. Um, like they even have like a real bright yellow on her face. And, when, and I called and asked them about the rendering, and they said they've ran it through their rendering um, system multiple times, and it turns out the same. And the only thing I want to just comment about that is, is on the website, it says hand-charted, 
So I'm like, if you run through your computer system, it's nothing wrong with that. But maybe could you go back by hand and correct some of the things that are blatantly wrong? And it's obviously they're not doing that and, and they're not willing to do it because, I mean, the, the way it looks is how they're selling it. And I think um, she may put in there that the skin tone is very red, which would be nice so people would know that. But, yeah. I would just say for Diamond Art Dreams, for that company, the way they render people of color skin tones, I wouldn't recommend um, buying the paintings unless you know going in that you're going to change it. Because um, I think the girls are too red, reddish brown. And it may look okay, but I think I think at least one of the colors 100% need to be changed out. But I'm going to unbox it and then let everyone decide on their own what they think um, for, about the colors. For that, but yeah, the colors in this painting is beautiful. I am really loving it. I cannot wait to do this, but I got so many whips I gotta work through because I really want to get all my whips done this year, just to add, if nothing else, but to add to my um my painting count. I'm at seven completions right now, but I think I have five whips. I, I mean, I would love to get all those whips done and have all those completions under my belt. That's my goal. I want to complete, trying to complete more this year than I did last year. And then um, every year, you know, just trying to get a little bit better, a little bit better of my completions. Okay. These are some beautiful colors. And then yesterday, I um, saw a video from Maritza. Um, her channel is Kiss My Crafts. She's going to be doing a diamond painting event um, called Break the Silence 2023. It's about domestic violence. And I am I wasn't going to do any more events, but I am going to participate in that one. Um, I think it's a very important topic. I think it happens to people um, more than people say. Um, domestic violence I'm talking about or violence in a relationship I think it happens more than people um, admit to or say um, and I think it's just an important topic and I'm definitely going to um, participate um, the canvas has to be predominantly purple I've been trying my best um, when I do events um, not to purchase um, any extra canvases because I have enough um, you know they have some beautiful um, canvases that are um, that were made for the event, but I already have a Muni made canvas. Um, Deity of the Forgotten is a purple mermaid with a lot of crystals in it, so I'm going to do that canvas um, for Break the Silence, which starts October 1st and I think it runs through November 4th. So I think that's nice. So I'm going to participate in that. And her co-host is Kokisha Warren. She is on Facebook. Um, she also has a business. And I don't want to say the business wrong. So I'm not going to say. I'll, I'll put it in my description box. So I don't want to mess that up. Um, but they're both hosting Break the Silence 2023. And it's a Facebook group um, that you have to join. And a Google document that you have to fill out. And in the Google document, you have to um, have a picture of the painting that you're going to do. Or the, a picture of the actual canvas. Because I was filling it out. I didn't realize I had to take a picture of the actual canvas. So I, I have to go back and fill it out um, once I um, get the canvas out and take a picture of it. Well, guys, that is about all I have for today. I just kind of wanted to come on real quick and chat with you guys. Um, I would just like to thank everyone for taking um, the time out of their day um, to watch my video. I really do appreciate it. Um, we are getting close to 500 subscribers. 
I'm definitely going to do a 500 subscriber giveaway. I'm going to give away um, a painting. And I'm going to give away um, two gift cards. Again, um, hope everyone's having a great day. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.